Um, hi, I'm Kathy Blair, a clinical student in HSC. So my research looks at clinical and programmatic networks in LMIC health systems. So I look at things from a systems perspective. I think we all know health systems are complex systems and many all over the world functions that optimally leading to poor quality of care, service delivery, and outcomes. So one solution has been this network approach. Um, when I'm talking about networks, I consider them to be groups of facilities or stakeholders who are linked through various means. Um, why am I thinking about this for four years? Were there results in the literature that show that there's that this working together in networks to improve clinical outcomes, but not so much on the why and how actually people work together to achieve those results. And it's becoming a more frequent approach and interest in LMIC health systems. So hopefully this can help inform some future implementation. So I have three phases of my work. The first was a scoping review that looked at the literature to try and figure out what networks are, how, why, what they're used for. Um, the second part is a realist review that's developing a program theory to explain how and why um, networks form and improve quality of care and service deliveries. And then I'm developing this theory, which will be tested in a realist evaluation to try and fill in knowledge gaps on the NEST program in Kenya. And then I'll refine the theory and hopefully have transferable lessons. So this is my working program theory, which shows there's kind of two pieces. It's network initiation piece. So how are networks initiated? And then the second piece of how they actually try and change practice. And so it kind of starts with the identification of a problem, people taking action, developing a vision, forming relationships, developing an identity and culture, kind of all focused around sort of network leadership and engaged, motivated network members. This creates a psychological safe space that allows these network members to work in a different way to enable them to hopefully ultimately change practices to improve care. And then I'm drawing on a bunch of other theory 